Close your eyes. Imagine a creature so vast, it dwarfed a school bus. So gentle, it barely registered fear. A magnificent oceanic grazer, living a life of serene abundance in the icy northern Pacific. Now, imagine its discovery, the thrill of the unknown. And then, imagine it utterly, completely gone. Not over centuries, not over generations, but in just 27 years, from its first recorded sighting by human eyes to its final agonizing extinction, barely a single human generation passed. This is the chilling, baffling, and almost unbelievable true story of the Stellar's sea cow, a monstrously large creature vanished in less time than it takes to get a college degree. How is that even possible? And what does its lightning-fast disappearance tell us about the destructive power hidden within our own nature? Our journey begins in the year 1741, amidst the treacherous, uncharted waters of the Bering Sea, near what is now known as Bering Island. Here, shipwrecked and desperate, the German naturalist Georg Wilhelm Steller, part of Vitus Bering's ill-fated Great Northern Expedition, stumbled upon an animal utterly unlike any he had ever seen. Steller's meticulously preserved journals, now invaluable historical documents, describe a creature of truly immense proportions up to 10 meters, 33 feet long, weighing as much as 10 metric tons, 22,000 pounds, larger than any modern elephant, and truly massive for a marine mammal. This was the Stellar's sea cow, Hydrodamalus gigas. A peaceful leviathan, it spent its days lazily grazing on vast kelp forests in the shallow coastal waters, its enormous calloused lips scraping algae from rocks. It was entirely herbivorous, utterly harmless, and possessed a curious, almost endearing nature. It was reportedly so docile, so devoid of fear, it allowed humans to approach closely. This trait, a beautiful adaptation to a predator-free existence, would prove to be its ultimate, tragic vulnerability. Tone shifts to foreboding and a sense of unfolding tragedy. The shipwrecked crew, initially starving, found a lifeline in these gentle giants. The sea cow provided an abundant source of meat, fat for lamps and cooking, and durable hides for their boats. Steller himself noted the meat was delicious, tasting like beef. Word of this readily available bounty, requiring no hunting skill beyond a harpoon and a strong arm, quickly reached the burgeoning Russian fur trade. The Bering Sea was a prime hunting ground for sea otters and seals, and now it offered an easy, seemingly endless food supply for the grueling voyages. This is where the clock on the Stellar Sea Cow's extinction truly began to tick. Historical maritime logs from the mid-18th century, now held in global archives, reveal a grim picture. Ships began making dedicated detours to Bering Island and other nearby shores, not just for fur, but for sea cow provisions. These animals were ridiculously easy to hunt. They floated on the surface, indifferent to approaching boats. Their thick blubber meant they didn't sink when killed, making retrieval effortless. They had no natural predators in their isolated habitat, so they lacked any evasive instincts. They would even gather around injured members, further exposing themselves. It was a perfect storm of vulnerability, meeting insatiable demand. The initial trickle of hunting rapidly became a torrent, a somber, almost disbelief-laden tone, building to the shocking conclusion. The speed of their eradication is what truly confounds and shocks. For a species that had thrived for millennia, their demise was dizzyingly swift. Reports from various expeditions and fur traders throughout the 1750s and early 1760s show a rapid decline. What started as thousands dwindled to hundreds, then mere dozens. By 1765, just 24 years after its discovery, renowned Russian explorer Ivan Sind mentioned he saw no more than 20 individuals. The final chilling chapter unfolded in 1768. A small group of fur hunters, led by a man named Popov, conducted what is believed to be the last recorded hunt. They found the very last few individuals clinging to existence near Bering Island. After this expedition, Despite numerous subsequent voyages through the Bering Sea by explorers and traders, not a single stellar sea cow was ever reliably sighted again. In a mere 27 years, a species that could feed a crew for weeks, a unique evolutionary marvel, was utterly wiped from the face of the Earth. No dramatic asteroid, 
no sudden climate cataclysm, just the relentless, cumulative impact of human presence and unchecked exploitation. This shocking speed of extinction, meticulously documented in historical accounts, remains a stark, uncomfortable benchmark for human impact on megafauna, a fact frequently highlighted in modern conservation reports and ecological studies. A reflective, urgent, and forward-looking tone connecting past to present. The ghost of the stellar sea cow haunts us still. Its story forces us to confront an uncomfortable truth, our capacity for rapid, devastating impact. It makes us ask, what else have we lost before truly understanding its value? Today, modern ecological research and environmental news outlets constantly report on how this historical pattern, though perhaps slower, continues to unfold for species like manatees, dugongs, and vulnerable whale populations. They face habitat loss, pollution, and the pressures of human activity, echoing the sea cow's plight. The stellar sea cow stands as a poignant reminder that even seemingly boundless resources can be exhausted with shocking speed. It underscores the vital importance of scientific discovery and, more critically, the ethical responsibility that comes with that discovery. We didn't just lose an animal, we lost a unique part of the ocean's ecological tapestry, a creature that could have offered countless biological insights. Its extinction wasn't a mistake of malice, but of ignorance and unchecked pursuit, a powerful, emotionally resonant call to action. The 27-year vanishing act of the stellar sea cow is a chilling, unforgettable lesson echoing across the centuries. It forces us to ask, are we truly seeing the fragile giants of our world before they too become just another tragic statistic? Will we learn to value life beyond immediate gain? Its story demands a new level of awareness, a deeper commitment to understanding the delicate balance of our planet. Let the ghostly image of this gentle giant inspire us to protect the living before their time too runs out. What other lost species hold a chilling warning or a beacon of hope for our future? Share your thoughts below. And if this journey into the astonishing speed of extinction resonated with your understanding, subscribe to our channel for more explorations into lost worlds, the hidden truths they reveal, and the vital lessons they hold for our own survival.